hey guys welcome back to another tutorial in this one i'm going to be showing you how to set up geo django in your django project like this approach is very simple it's kind of not tricky like the last one i did using people in a gdl this approach is very very straightforward i am happy to bring it to you i decided to give this a shot again when somebody commented on my youtube that i should make more videos on geo django i decided to look out for a simpler way of setting up geo django in your application and for this video i have set up a front end to test what is going on on our back end you can and see i have latitude longitude and i have been able to set up a front end that makes it possible to calculate different latitude and longitude of different locations if i grant these windows my location right now it will change to where i am but let me just go ahead and save this one this way then let's submit okay let's submit this location submitted successfully now let's open our admin so i can show you guys go ahead login Okay, so under my user locations, you're going to see I have different locations I have stored. So let me show you the point for the last one we just stored, which is 51. But I think this is around London or so. As you can see, my point is showing it. The data is saving on our backend. Very simple setup. And yeah, this one is just the front end side. Not really what I want to show you guys. You can search for Abuja here to change it to Abuja. Abuja is Federal Capital Territory for Nigeria. If I also want, I can go ahead and save this. It will also show in our database. Now we have added this location and we have the point showing and storing properly in our database. Now, without wasting your time, let's go to the back side of things. All right, guys, welcome back to the tutorial. So what I want to do today, like I said, is to show you how to set up GeoJango faster out, easier method, not so difficult to set up. You just go straight to the point. To handle this setup, the only thing you need to do is to have Postgres. If you have Postgres database installed on your system, this is it here, Postgres database. You should just search on Google the way I did. It takes you to postgres.org. You can go ahead. If you want to download, you will download the version that suits you. So it's going to ask you for the operating system you're using. For me, I'm using Windows. If you're using Mac, you can select Mac. So you click on the download the installer. When you click on the download the installer, it takes you to this page where it will ask you to download and choose the version. So for Windows x86, you download here. If yours is Mac, you click on here. If yours is Linux, you click on there. And you select the best version. For me, I think I'm using, I don't know the version of Postgres I'm using, but just make sure you don't use the better version. Once you download Postgres, make sure you follow the prompts. And when you're handling the installation, remember to install PG Admin. PG Admin is a package that helps you to manage your Postgres. I think I have PG Admin here. This is the way PG Admin looks, PG Admin 4. So make sure you have this installed. Come here on Google to and do PG Admin 4. Then you go to pgadmin.org and go ahead and load PG Admin. Please make sure you install PG Admin just so you can use it to manage your data. It's important. I would advise you not to install the latest version. Just choose PG Admin 4 version 8.8 .8 or even 8.7. Because if you try this one, you might be having issues installing it properly. So when you have installed all this, the first thing we are going to do, let me quickly open my PG Admin 4 so that i will show you guys how it works i'm just going to create a simple database to show you guys how you create database on postgres you can use command but i prefer to set up my database using pg admin you can see my own version is even low i'm using 7.3 so this is my server um let me put in my password so i can have access to my database enter so these are my databases i have four here now i want to create a new database let's call it uh geo django yeah the owner is postgres go ahead set this up so we now have a database called geo django and geo django is the database we are going to use to set up our geo django setup in our django application so i'm going to remove this close this come back to vs code the first thing i'm going to do is to set up my project and to set up my project i'm going to create a virtual environment python dash m vmv vmv so go ahead and create a virtual environment for me activate my virtual environment then I'll go ahead and install Django. Pip install Django. Let me bring this up a little. Okay, while this is installing, let's come back here. There's another package we need. Let me close down this. So the package we'll need, Psycop. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but this is the package. Uh, if we go to pypy.org, it will explain what Psycop does. Psycop is the most popular Postgres SQL database adapter for the Python programming language. What Psycop does for us is that it helps us to 
adopt Postgres into our application. Remember, Django is a web framework from Python. We're going to copy it, pip install cycle. There's another one, cycle binary. If you're doing for production, I will advise you to use the one for binary because this one sometimes does not work in production. Close this, go back here. Our Python is done installing. Paste this here so we can install Psycop. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Psycop is done installing clear. Now let's set up our project. Django dash admin start project. Yeah, just call it Joe Django. Go ahead and seed into Joe Django. We will create our only app, Django admin start app. We call it, we can call it our Joe app like this. Let me clear this, close our terminal and bring it down. Let's go to settings.py. There are some things we need to set up. Inside our settings.py, let's first of all register our Joe app. Okay. Then there's another thing I want to register in this our app. We call it GIS app from the default GIS app from Django. It's called Django.contrib.gis. Let me add it below admin Django.contrib.gis. We can go on Google to understand more about the country package from Django. Go back here, open another tab. Let's see what it will say. Let's go to Django documentation and see information regarding it. We can just search from here and see. Okay, added support for spatial light. GDL raster now allows creating rasters in any GDL virtual. Okay, so what does this package do? It is for our geolocation. It helps us to cover spatial data in our geolocation. That's what the GIS does for us. And all you do, need to do is to add it here when you set up your project and you have postgres set up and you have also installed the postgres adapter cycle now let's come to our database our database is another thing we have to make changes to normally the default database of django is sqlite but we are going to change the engine from this instead of using backend or sqlite we'll use django.contrib.gis.com db.backend then dot post gis just like this the next thing i'm going to add here is the name of our yeah i don't know i think it's jojango let's go back to the name of our yeah jojango is the name of our database who come out here our user is postgres we'll add postgres here then the next thing we're going to do is to add password localhost then our port let's remove this name but i'm not going to show you guys my own password but this is the setup you understand this is the way to set up your database i'm not going to show you guys my password i'm just going to stop here put in my password off camera but make sure you set up your database this way if you set up your database this way you will not have any issue let's save our settings.py let me add my leaflet config just for front end purpose it will just help me to adjust the page for our leaflet.js because that's what i'm using to set up our map that i'm going to use to show you guys how our data is storing and working so for the leaflet config i'm going to add default center i'm going to set it to be this is actually the latitude by the way so i'm going to use 51.505 then i'll do minus 0.09 comma i will add the default zoom for the default zoom i will set it to 13 this is it save we are done with this configuration for our leaflet before i run migration i'm going to come to our app here open up my models.py so i can just set up the user location so that we can test our model and see if it is storing spatial data so in my models.py i don't need to import anything just do class class user location i'll do models the model then inside here i'll set the location to be equals to models dot point field let's remove all this save open up the terminal again let's go ahead and do python money.py make migrations no change is detected so let's migrate our migration is successful a whole lot of things has happened and if you are able to do all this migration that means your database is working and you have successfully set up your postgres with your application close back the terminal now let me return what we did here and our point field okay so what i'm going to do i forgot this we are not going to import our models this way because we are using gis now to import our models i'm going to say from django.contrib.gis then .db we import model that is what to change our point field Then i will do a string representation self come down we'll return location call it bracket self location model is set up we are almost good to go before we run another migration let's work on our admin.py import our model from dot models importing user location then admin.site 
dot register we will do this save close down the admin.py let's go to our views.py so we can set up our views do that and also set up our urs.py before i run migration and we'll test what we are building close down this from django.http we import json response then i will also import from django.views.decorators we import csrfsm and i will also import from django.contrib.gis.geo like this we will import point a whole lot of things you can do with django provisions their default gis provisions they provide for you then we will import from the models import user location now the first view i'm going to set up is of our index request as usual and inside here i will do return render but i'm going to add this to be geo underscore app slash index save this let's come here in our app create a folder let's call it template inside the templates i will create another subfolder geo and inside the geo app i will add my index.html for the index.html everything capturing the leaflet map and the js code that's going to help us to calculate our latitude and longitude i'm just going to ignore that because that's not the purpose of the video now let's go back to the views so the next function i'm going to set up here is for the one that's going to help us to handle our location submission the whole setup of the jojango is done but i just wanted to show you how it works so we can save the data to see if what we have built is truly working and to do that, I'm going to create a function that I'm going to call submit location. CRF exempt like that, but let me change this to be submit location. I don't want to use save location. It's the same thing. If request dot method equals to post, then we'll bring latitude. And next, I will do try and accept. I will set my location. Nope, nope. This is where my <laughs> tab line got it wrong. So I'm going to do latitude. For the latitude, I'm going to set it to be float latitude. Then I will also set for the longitude equals to float longitude. Then I will do for my accept i will do to type error then value error then as e and inside this accept i'm going to return a json response error in value latitude or longitude correct then comma here i'm going to set it to be status equals to 400 then i'm going to come down and do if latitude is none and okay let's use all longitude or longitude is none what i'm going to do is to return a json error instead of in value latitude missing latitude or longitude yeah the error here is still okay let's just stick with it the next thing i'm going to do is to create a point object for our longitude sorry from our longitude and our latitude i'm going to do user location then user location dot object dot eat let's do dot object dot create objects that create user location go to user location objects that create then location go to point then longitude latitude i'll go ahead and return a JSON response message location submitted successfully then go ahead and return another JSON response with let's do error so it is I'm going to set it to be invalid location for the status I'm going to set it to be 405 okay so for the try what i'm doing here for this latitude and longitude is to convert them to float so that we'll be able to save them as longitude and latitude once that is done we then check for errors if our latitude and longitude is not we will return the json showing error missing latitude and longitude okay so let me save this it's already saved now for the index.html i'm just going to add what i have done so that we'll just save time and then before that let me open terminal again bring this up a little let me clear and we'll go ahead and do migration again we we'll migrate our table that we have created and we we'll migrate okay clear let me quickly set up the index.html okay so this is our index.html just something simple i'm using the leaflet um, map to show the map and this is our container that is handling our submit location and i have a javascript that is helping us to calculate our coordinates and normally what it does is that it can assess your location once you assess your location, it will show the draggable marker showing your location. But if you don't allow it to get your location, it will default back to London, which is the one I'm setting here. Where did I set the London? Yeah, this is the one I'm setting here, which is the default on the map so when all these things is done then we handle our form submission and if the form is submitted location submitted successfully shows if it doesn't we'll get an error in our console then this one is a function that is performing the search i added a search that helps us to search for different locations in the map yeah so this is basically what this code is doing for us everything is going to be available on github the purpose of the video is to show you how simple it is to set up a jojango project in django just with 
Postgres, you don't need any other library aside from having the Postgres database in your system. So I'm going to go ahead and run this project so we can try. Okay, before we even run project, let me create a super user. So this one is a new project. A super user, call it um, admin, so that we'll check and see if our data is saving. Yep, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run our server. Run server. Open up here. Come here. Let's refresh this and see. Okay, so something is missing. I have not set up our URS. And to set up our URS, I don't need to create any other URS for our app. We'll just use the default one of Django here. Now, let me clear this. And the first thing we're going to do is to set up the one for our index. That's our home. So let's import the views of our app first we'll do the one for index now let's set the one for submitting our location i'm going to call it submit underscore location then put comma here save let me leave it so you guys can see come back let's refresh yeah we'll now have this it's now asking me for my location so let's see if our code is working if i allow it's going to change to my location and my location is somewhere in lagos and i don't know where it's showing me it's showing me somewhere around but the map can be funny or i'm not there yeah but it's showing somewhere around but so that means it's getting my wrong location but that's okay <laughs> that's not what we are here for but we can go ahead and get lagos nigeria here we want to calculate with the lagos coordinates i think it's around something six something yeah 6.433 yeah so if i go ahead and submit this let's see location submitted and let's close this down open our admin again admin okay go ahead and log in Okay, now let's look at user locations. Something is wrong. Our database is not storing because if it is storing, it was meant to get the information that I just saved. Front end is working good, but something is wrong. Now let's try to inspect and see. Okay, 404, something is wrong. Let's go back and see what is wrong. Okay, yeah, I need to close this. The one I'm handling the submission. Where am I submitting? Yeah, so that was why it did not save. Come back let's refresh again yeah we can just try to save this and see now the error is not showing again close down this and close this let's refresh this yeah so we now have this and open okay as you can see our point is showing you can see the map somewhere here this is our location as if i move it the point is moving around which is our point field if you do not have a good setup you'll not be able to see this from your back end so yeah our jojango application is set up and we can do a whole lot of location storing so many things save our spatial data whatever you want to do with it if i want to save a different location let's say i want to save a location in okay let's search for london london which is the default location yeah and save somewhere around bloomsbury as around the latitude is 51.52 then longitude is minus this go ahead and submit then if i come back to user locations we'll now have this location for london yeah so this is how you handle joe django setup in a Django application the easier way now i don't want you to complain that you're having issues with pipwin because last time i did this i used pipwin and gdl to set it up now you don't need all that all you need to do is make sure you have postgres you're good to go you don't need any other thing guys we have come to the end of the video if this video was helpful please remember to subscribe drop your comments in the comment section i will be glad to answer any questions you have i want you to be a guru with python that's my goal i want people watching my videos to find it easy in building great applications with django thank you so much as you do that may the lord bless you till we meet again i remain your humble servant joshua Bye.